And happening right now, our top story, unrest in Las Vegas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Kimionis. And I'm Trisha Keen. Hundreds of people taking their frustrations to the Las Vegas Strip and Fremont Street this weekend demanding change. The demonstrations at times turning violent. Metro arresting 155 people just last night. Protesters and even our crews hit with tear gas. And while things now remain mostly peaceful, it did get tense last night. SWAT vehicles deployed, deployed here to disperse the crowds on the Las Vegas Strip. And tonight we have live team coverage. Jackie Costick up in Chopper 13. But first, Joe Bartels begins our coverage. Joe. Yeah, Todd, Tricia, it has been really a tumultuous past few days here, starting on Friday when we were on the Strip, and then Saturday downtown we saw thousands of people. It was a 2,000 uh, crowd estimate from police as they kind of took to the streets. I think we have some video here of what we've been seeing. So on Saturday, as I mentioned, downtown Las Vegas, we saw 2,000 or so people headed down in the streets and really protesting and exercising their rights, and we've seen that from uh, authorities really encouraging people to exercise their rights but do it in a lawful and safe manner. Unfortunately, as night falls, then we have seen the unrest turn into criminal activity, vandalism and looting. As you mentioned, even last night, uh, we had uh, about uh, 148 misdemeanor arrests, 155 total, as you mentioned, for a variety of different things. Seven of those were felonies, so some ser pretty serious uh, crimes uh, being committed in, in that respect. We also saw, um, while we were at Tropicana Cobalt, not far from where we're at right now, that we saw some looters at a, a gas station as well as a fire that was set. So some pretty serious you know, interactions with both protesters and then also with uh, police as well. Uh, if you come back out to me live in my live shot here, Stephanie Frederick, my photojournalist, will show you this is all taking place in the backdrop of a pandemic and we've had businesses that have been closed for an extended period of time, boarded up and locked up. And now we have the potential for more unrest, more violence and potential, potentially more uh, damage. So you can see some of the businesses in this area um, still reeling from COVID-19. But then we also have uh, the situation where we could have more protests and unrest, which are not far from the strip here and, and moving this direction. So will we see more of the same in the past few nights? Police are bracing for that potential, but the message from elected leaders and officials and faith leaders is please, if you're going to exercise your First Amendment rights, your rights to protest and assemble, do it, but do it in a safe manner and a responsible manner. Don't break the law, guys. Joe, 